together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. To say hello, hello, hello. Let's stop to say hello. It's a way to say we're glad you're here. Come on and say hello. Hello, hedgehog. Hello, fox. Hello, pig. Hello, monkey. When friends are near, we smile and say hello. When friends are far. We wave and say hello. It's a friendly word that shows we care. Come on and say hello. Hello, Mr. Frog. Hello. Hello, hello Mr. Mr. Goose. Goose. Hello. Hello, friend. Hello. 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 Hi. Nice to see you. <laughs> I spy shapes everywhere Circles, triangles, ovals, squares Stars, rectangles, so many kinds See how many we can find Hello, friend. It's so good to see you. You're just in time. I was about to check the mail. I'm expecting a letter from Ms. Panda. Let's check the mail together. Are you coming? Look, there's a letter in our mailbox. It's addressed to Mr. Goose, the Treehouse, Animal Island. That means it's for me. Could it be from Ms. Panda? It is from Ms. Panda. I'll open it. There is a letter and some pictures inside. I'll read the letter out loud. Hello, everyone. I'm visiting my friend. Everywhere I go, I see shapes. I've sent you some photos. Ooh, let's look. What shape do you see in the first picture? Hmm, do you see it? Rectangle. Well done. What shape do you see in the second picture? Oh, I think I see it. Rectangle. Fantastic. What shape do you see in the last picture? Hmm, what shape do you see? Rectangle. Yes. Can you find shapes on Animal Island? Love, Ms. Panda. That's a great idea. We'll make rectangle our special shape of the day. Let's look for rectangles on Animal Island. Let's look for rectangles. Do you see one? Let's look for another one. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it. <laughs> Yay! See you. Hi, Ms. Panda. What are you doing? Hi, monkey. I cut out all of these colored shapes, and now I'm sorting them. Can I help? I would love it if you helped. Thank you, monkey. First, find all the purple triangles and put them in a box. Okay. Hmm. There's one. There's another one. This is purple. 
That's a square. We only want purple triangles. Oh, right. I forgot. There's one. Thank you, monkey. Now, let's gather all of the purple stars. Okay! Here. Here. And here. Splendid! Should I look for purple squares now, Ms. Panda? That's a good idea. Okay! Here. Here, here, and here. Great! And what's left? Two red shapes. Okay, let's put both of them in their own box. Okie dokie! No more shapes! Thank you so much, Monkey. What are all of these shapes for? Whatever we want. We can use them to make art projects. Ooh, I could use two triangles to make a bow tie. Look! <laughs> oh, Monkey, you look very fancy. Let's look for shapes inside the treehouse. Let's look for rectangles, like this. Do you see one? Yes! I see one! Do you see it? Right! Let's look for one more. Look for more. I see one. Yes. Let's look for another one. Yay. Let's look for one more. We got to play together. It's story time. Yay! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Achu. How loud is an elephant's sneeze? Let's read and find out. Let's begin. Achu, written by Deepa Balsavar, illustrated by Nancy Raj. Achu, went Monkey. She had a terrible cold. That was loud. I almost fell off the tree, said Cuckoo, poking his head through the leaves. Really? asked Monkey. If this is loud, how loud do you think an elephant sneeze would be? I can only guess, said Cuckoo. Maybe as loud as this. Ah-choo! That's not loud enough, said Porcupine. An elephant sneeze is much louder than that. Ah-choo! He blew out his little cheeks and his pointy nose quivered. Grunt, grunt, said Wild Boar. That's not loud enough. An elephant sneeze must be huge! And taking a deep breath, she went, uh, Achoo! Grunt, grunt. What's all this noise? asked Deer. Do you know how loud an elephant sneeze is? asked Monkey. I always sneeze politely, said Deer with a sniff. But an elephant must have a huge, disgusting sneeze like this. Achoo! Achoo! Excuse me. 
Achoo! All the animals jumped, while Buffalo joined the group. That's an elephant's sneeze, he said proudly. Deer, wild boar, porcupine, cuckoo, and monkey looked at him with admiration. Not bad, but not quite, purred a low voice. Wild Buffalo's nose quivered. Tiger leaped out from behind the bushes. She threw her head back, opened her mouth wide, and gave the loudest sneeze you could ever imagine. She went, ah, ah, Elephant walked into the clearing. Pardon me, he said to Tiger. Do you have a cold too? I have one, and I am going to sneeze. What? roared Tiger. What? bellowed Wild Buffalo. What? barked Deer. What? grunted Wild Boar. What? squealed Porcupine. What? sang Cuckoo. Oh, wow, thought Monkey. Uh, well, uh, went Elephant. The whole forest waited. Here it comes, thought Monkey. Ah, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, that felt good, said Elephant. Nothing like a good sneeze to clear out the trunk. Then he looked around and wondered, Where have all the others gone? Cuckoo began to laugh. Now do you know how big an elephant sneeze is, he asked Monkey. Yes, said Monkey, but not another question, wailed Cuckoo and flew hurriedly away. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids! It's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. Let's sing Wheels on the Bus. I'll sing the first verse, then you sing along with me, okay? Okay! The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round All through the town Now sing along with me The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep Beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep All through the town The babies on the bus say wah, wah, wah on the bus say wah 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 the babies on the bus say wah 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 all through the town one more the mommies on the bus say don't you cry the mommies on the bus say don't you cry don't you cry don't you cry the mommies on the bus say don't you cry all through the town well done Thank you for singing with me. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Hey, everybody. Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you, too. Let's all play. The alphabet game when I show you a letter, say its name. Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? R! What's this letter? B! What's this letter? B! What's this letter? P! Now let's do it fast! B! B! R! D! R! D! P! P! Work, everybody.
everybody. That's how you play the alphabet game when you see a letter. You say its name. Woo! The letter P. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter B. Who can think of a fun way to do it? Let's make letters in the sky with clouds. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Hedgehog, show us how. Okay. Great! I'll trace the next one. Hmm. B. Terrific tracing. Now. Let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll try next. B. Ah. Nice job. I want to try. <laughs> It. Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? B. Exactly. Uppercase B. And what's this letter? B. That's right. Lowercase B. Nice job. Wow! Wow! Cool! Nice work, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Goose. B. Let's have a pattern party. Yeah! <laughs> Patterns repeat. Patterns repeat. When I say a pattern, repeat to the beat.
And now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. If that mockingbird won't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. If that diamond ring turns brass, Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass. If that looking glass gets broke, Mama's gonna buy you a billy goat. Mama's gonna buy you a cart and bull. If that cart and bull turn over, Mama's gonna buy you a dog named Rover. If that dog named Rover won't bark, Mama's gonna buy you a horse and cart. If that horse and cart fall down, you'll still be the sweetest little baby in town. Mm -hmm.